everybody! Today we're going to be looking at dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are just so cool. So dinosaurs lived on the earth for over 160 million years and around 66 million years ago all dinosaurs became extinct. So that means that they're no longer alive anymore. And there are some dinosaurs that are small like little chickens and there are some dinosaurs that are just absolutely enormous. So let's look at what different dinosaurs liked to eat or their diet. So there are carnivores, there are herbivores, and there are omnivores. So carnivores ate mostly, well, they just ate meat and some carnivores ate other dinosaurs. So dinosaurs like the Tyrannosaurus rex, the Spinosaurus and Velociraptors were all carnivores. So herbivore dinosaurs were dinosaurs that ate plants and leaves. And these are dinosaurs like the Diplodocus, the Apatosaurus, the Stegosaurus, the Triceratops and the Parasaurolophus. That all of those dinosaurs ate plants and leaves and so they didn't eat any meat at all. They were all herbivores. So as well as carnivores and herbivores, we have omnivores. So omnivores are dinosaurs that ate both meat and plants. These dinosaurs are dinosaurs like the Hagrophus or the Anzueli. So dinosaurs like the Anzueli and the Hagrophus ate both meat and plants. Now there are so many different types of dinosaurs, so we'll just have a look at a few. Now there are dinosaurs like the Hagrophus and the Anzueli that had feathers. And these bird-like dinosaurs had toothless beaks. They had really powerful arms terrifying claws. Right, as well as the bird-like dinosaurs, there are also dinosaurs that had one, two legs. Now these two-legged dinosaurs, like the Tyrannosaurus rex, the Velociraptor and Spinosaurus, had legs that, they had two legs, which means that they were able to move much faster so they can catch the other dinosaurs much more quickly so they can eat them. Their legs supported all of their enormous weight and the weight of their big heads. And they also had very strong jaws and super razor sharp teeth. So there are also four legged dinosaurs, not two legged dinosaurs, but four. One, two, three, four. Four legged dinosaurs were dinosaurs like the Diplodocus. Uh, the Apatosaurus and the Brachiosaurus. These dinosaurs moved much more slowly than the two-legged dinosaurs, so they were much bigger usually. So as well as all of those dinosaurs, did you know that there are also dinosaurs that had their own special armour to protect them from being hurt or eaten by other dinosaurs? There are dinosaurs like the Ankylosaurus and the Stegosaurus. So these dinosaurs have bones embedded or fixed into their skin. And those bones aren't part of their normal skeleton inside of their body. And that's what protects them. These dinosaurs, the Ankylosaurus and the Stegosaurus and lots of other kinds of dinosaurs, have their very own special armour made of bones. How cool is that? There are also some dinosaurs that have bony frills on the back of their heads and they have parrot-like beaks and some of them even had horns like the Triceratops. The dinosaurs like Triceratops and the Styracosaurus had the largest heads of all the dinosaurs. There are also some dinosaurs that had spines coming out of their backs, just like this Spinosaurus. 
Can you see that the Spinosaurus has very long, narrow jaws with lots of teeth in them, just like a crocodile? Now, here's an interesting fact that you probably didn't know. Some people think that dinosaurs could fly, but creatures like the pterodactyls were not actually dinosaurs. They were flying reptiles, but not dinosaurs. They were very different to dinosaurs because they flew and their front limbs, their arms, they stretched out to the side and not in front of them. So they weren't actually dinosaurs. Now, here's another really cool fun fact. Now, did you know that like birds, two-legged dinosaurs were able to stand up. They were standing upright and move their legs going forwards and backwards. They don't have arms and legs that sprawl out underneath them, do they? The Tyrannosaurus rex's legs were right underneath him, not out to the side. So he wasn't much like a lizard, was he? No. And also some dinosaurs have arms and legs that are similar to birds because they are hollow, just like the coelurosaurs. And so for those reasons, some dinosaurs are more similar to birds than they are to crocodiles or lizards. Now, here is something else that is super cool. Did you know that there are some animals that are alive today that belong to the same family of animals as dinosaurs? Did you know that there are real life dinosaurs that live in the world right now? Did you? Well, take a look at the feet of these dinosaurs. Have a really good look. Now, have a look at the feet of these animals. What animal do you think they belong to? Have a think. Well, that's right. These are feet that belong to ostriches, to emus, and cassowaries. Now, did you know that a cassowary can be found in Southeast Asia and Australia and are super dangerous, just like a real dinosaur? Did you know that the biggest dinosaur, it wasn't a Tyrannosaurus rex, it wasn't a Spinosaurus, it was actually an Argentinosaurus. And an Argentinosaurus from the top of his head right the way down to the tip of his tail was 40 meters long. That's the same length as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, ten cars put together. That's enormous. Right, guys, now that you've learned all about dinosaurs, why don't you go and tell your grown up what you've learned? Maybe you can tell them what your favorite dinosaur is or how many legs it has. Maybe you can tell them if it has big bony frills and big horns like a triceratops. Or maybe you can tell them if your favourite dinosaur has feathers, like an Anzu Wiley. Or is it a carnivore that has short arms, a really big head, and sharp teeth, and a long tail like a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Have a think. And once you've spoken to your grown-ups, maybe you can have a go at writing a, your own sentence about your favourite dinosaur. I'm sure your grown-ups would be super impressed. Now, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed learning about dinosaurs with me today. I've had so much fun and I really, really hope that you guys have too. So take care, everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.